done. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how we actually construct a parallelogram. Okay, basically parallelogram looks like a slanted rectangle. Alright, so before we start, please make sure you have all the equipment that you need. Okay, get your compass ready by placing the pencil through the hole and screwing the nut tight. Alright, so we would need the protractor, the compass as well as a ruler. Alright, so now we are ready to draw a parallelogram ABCD. So let's start with the first information given that AB is 8cm. So just like how you draw a triangle, the first step is always to use your ruler to start off with drawing a straight line. Okay, so let, let's make use of AB 8cm to draw our straight line using the ruler. Alright, so I will be drawing 8cm using my ruler. Right, so that is an 8cm line which I'm going to label it as AB 8cm. Alright, next, let's look at the next information we have which is AD equals 5cm. Right, so just like what you did in triangles, you only draw the first length using a ruler to measure the length of the line. All other lengths given after the first one has to be drawn using a compass. Alright, so AD 5CM is to be drawn using your compass. So I'm going to prepare a compass to open it to 5CM to prepare to draw line AD. Alright, so I'm going to shift it to 5CM. Alright, and after I have opened it to 5CM, I have to decide where I'm going to place my needle. I can put it at A or D. Obviously, I do not have point D yet, so I'm going to place it at point A like this. Alright, so I place my needle at A and I'm going to draw a curve with my compass. Alright, so with that, I have made use of this piece of information. I'll move on to the next, which is angle A is 75 degrees. So always when you see angle values given, it has to be drawn using your protractor. This is for angle A, so I'm going to place my protractor at point A, the middle of the protractor is at point A now, All right? And be sure to read the correct scale. I have to read the scale whereby this starting line, the baseline AB points to zero. So I'm going to follow the set of inner numbers, All right? So I'm going to follow this set of numbers to go to 75, which is right in the middle of 70 and 80, All right? So this is where 75 degrees is at, and I'm going to use my ruler join it back to point A. Alright, so I've drawn angle A 75 degrees and as you can see here, I now have a meeting point between this curve and this angle line that I have just drawn and this meeting point refers to the fourth point of your parallelogram which is point D. Okay, take note that point D is never where your line stops. It is where the curve and the line meets, which is right here. Okay, that's point D. So, as you can see at this stage, I have used all the information, all three information I'm given. Okay, and yet this obviously doesn't look like a parallelogram at all. Okay, so this is when you have to make use of the property of a parallelogram. Okay, since it looks like a slanted rectangle, one property it has in terms of the length is that opposite sides will be equal in length. Right? So this is an important property we are going to make use of here. Okay, so before we look at the opposite sides to be equal in length, let me label this AD to be 5cm first, which is what we have drawn just now using our compass. Okay, so bearing this property in mind, if I know AD is 5cm, I would know that this opposite length to AD, which is for B to C, would also be 5cm based on this property. So I actually have an additional length that I know that BC equals to 5cm. Okay, take note that this information will not be given because the question has told you that it's a parallelogram. So you are supposed to know this property to be able to deduce that BC is actually also 5cm. 
So if I know BC is 5 cm because opposite sides are equal, I can also know the length of the side opposite to AB. Knowing AB is 8 cm, my side opposite to AB is CD, it will likewise also be 8 cm. Okay, so over here will be 8 cm for CD, BC will be 5 cm. So these are two important additional information that you need to think of on your own based on the property of a parallelogram. All right? And because these two additional information are lengths, both of them have to be drawn using a compass. All right? Just like what you did to draw the 5 cm length. All right? These two additional lengths are to be drawn using your compass as well. Alright, so I'm going to start off with drawing BC 5cm using my compass. Okay, so I'm going to check that my compass is open to 5cm, which it still is. Let me just adjust it slightly. Okay, so that's 5cm. That is to draw BC, so I'm going to place my needle at point B. Alright, I place my needle at point B like this, and I'm going to draw a curve. Right, so next CD 8 cm likewise is a length, so I'm going to use a compass as well. Now I have to extend my compass to a length of 8 cm. All right, it has to be wider, okay, slightly wider. All right, 8 cm. Okay, so 8 cm to draw CD. So now again, decide where should my needle be placed at. I can place it at point C or point D. All right. right now in my diagram, I do not see point C yet, which is what I'm going to locate, but I do see point D over here. Okay, so obviously I have to place my needle at point D. Again, it is important that you place your needle at this spot and not the one above because point D is where the curve and the line meets. Okay, and likewise, I'm going to draw a curve that meets the previous curve that I have drawn. Alright, so here I've drawn my 8cm and my 5cm curves. As you can see, these two curves that I've drawn will nicely meet each other and this meeting point is where I locate point C to be at. Okay, and now since I have four points already located, the last step to do is to join them together so that I get my complete parallelogram. Right, so use your ruler, join point C to point B and point C to point D. Okay, and there you go, you get a completed parallelogram which resembles the shape of a slanted rectangle. Alright, so check that all your labels are complete. You have A, B, C, D, the four points labelled. The lengths and angles labelled, okay, and because we are using the property of opposite sides being equal, you may label in 8 cm to show the opposite sides being equal in length, as well as the 5 cm for AD and BC that they are equal in length. Okay, take note not to erase these curves that you have drawn with your compass because that would be you'll be awarded working marks to show your drawing using the compass. Right, and so that's how we construct a parallelogram. The end.